Today, you've chosen to watch Cubital Tunnel, not a common work injury, but one that you will see in your lifetime. It's usually a problem related to repetitive use at work with numbness and tingling down the ulnar aspect of the forearm into the small and ring fingers of the one hand. Now let's do the physical examination of the cubital tunnel, all on the medial aspect of the elbow. We have to define our bony landmark, the medial epicondyle, directly posterior to the medial epicondyle is where the pathology lies in cubital tunnel, the ulnar nerve. Here we've demonstrated it on this injured patient. Look where the anatomic distribution of the ulnar nerve is. The positive test, a Tennell's test, tapping of the medial epicondyle and the ulnar nerve behind it should produce paresthesias, tingling, numbness in the anatomic distribution of the ulnar nerve. That's the small and ring fingers of the ipsilateral hand. One other physical exam test that should be done on cubital tunnel is looking for a mechanical problem. Cubital tunnel can have a subluxing ulnar nerve where it comes out from behind the medial epicondyle and is directly medial to the condyle. You can demonstrate that in your physical exam by maximally flexing, the nerve comes out, you put your fingers right over the medial epicondyle and as the patient extends her elbow again to about 15, 20, zero degrees, the nerve will pop under your fingers. The patient will notice palpatory relief when that ulnar nerve goes back in its anatomic groove. That's a positive subluxation of the ulnar nerve. Imaging, not so much an important part of this diagnosis in cubital tunnel. X-rays and MRIs really don't help you very much. What might help you in imaging is electrodiagnostic studies, but not right away. You better make sure a patient is pretty symptomatic for three to four weeks before you order this test, which might help you both with nerve conduction studies as well as electromyography. These physical examination and diagnostic maneuvers will help you and Texas Mutual define this patient's work injury. Please document these in your clinical notes. Thank you for watching Workplace Diagnosis.